Well, they have to comply with uh, food safety testing. We need to make sure that they don't have TB. Um, and that, for that purpose, they are classified as bovine. And um, that is normally practiced uh, for the cattle, but unfortunately it doesn't take into consideration the very special nature of bison. They are a different animal, they behave differently, they handle differently, they get very, very stressed despite their awesome size. They are actually a very sensitive animal and so we need to make sure that whilst they're just being put in a bovine category that actually they have the derogations they need to make sure that the animal welfare is taken into consideration, that the testing that they're using is not overly stressing them and that they're handled as, as, as less as they possibly can be because it is extremely um, stressful and sometimes can be fatal for our bison. I mean it sounds very sad for the animals that you know at the moment they're having to the farmers are having to meet these standards. From the farmers uh, the farmer in Leicestershire you've been in contact with and I know you've been to, to see them they must be quite distressed that they're causing what they feel is unnecessary harm to the animals do they feel it's it's unnecessary it's an unnecessary burden that they're putting on the, the farmer themselves but also on the animals well british bison farmers of which we have many now um, are actually wanting to be within the regulations they want to make sure that they're with, within the safety standards but they just need some clarity on where bison actually fit into those they are a different class of animal but they're often classified as bovine also in the uk they're also listed as a as a wild and dangerous animal it is very difficult for them to get legal clarity on what they're actually supposed to be doing so what we're doing here at the commission today is trying trying to also look at the, the regulations that we have in place and see if we can make it easier for bison farmers to understand the standards that they need to, to work within, but also to make sure that it takes into consideration the special nature of these animals to make sure that their animal health and welfare is taken into consideration uh, whilst they're on our wonderful farms. And you mentioned you've uh, been raising this. You've met now with the European Commissioner uh, who covers this area. What kind of response did you get from him? Well, we had the meeting with the Commissioner today. It was really important that I said we need to get legal clarity for these farmers. These farmers have got lots and lots of paperwork, lots of boxes to tick in order to, to be within all regulations, in order to receive all sorts of European um, cap payments. It is very, very difficult for them to know exactly what they can do operationally on the ground day to day. So the meeting we had was very good. It was very successful. We talked specifically about bison and specifically about TB testing. There is another new form of TB testing testing that is less stressful, we only need to be done once on the animals and that would reduce the handling of them by 50% and that is the most dangerous part both for the animal and for the farmer. So actually today I think we got some real progress from the Commissioner. He has promised that the laboratory for the European research is undertaking that's the rest of the elimination studies that need to be undertaken right now in order to allow us to get approval for this special gamma referral um, TB testing. It's very, very complicated wording, but it is going to make a big difference for those bison farmers and a big difference for the animals. Do you now then feel a bit more confident that uh, EU rules can be changed a little bit in order to make life a bit easier for, for bison farmer in, farmers in places like Leicestershire? The EU needs to recognise that one size does not fit all and it certainly doesn't apply to animals that are very different in their nature. And we need to make sure that we're not just making policy here for that one size fits all animal category. We need to make sure that the animals are treated very, very well the best animal welfare is in place, that we have the very greatest food standards for when it comes into the human food uh, chain for consumption. But the reality is, is that that can't be a one size fits all for everyone. We need to have um, a special look at the different behaviours of these animals and make sure it's right for our bison. Do you think therefore that the EU rules will be changed? Do you feel more confident about that? I hope uh, following the Commission meeting today, the Commissioner promised that this was going to be happening by the end of 2015, that they would be in a position to be able to announce that the new uh, testing for TB could be brought in. That's going to mean a great deal of clarity for farmers, not only in the UK, but further afield as well, and making sure that our, our farmers can farm with confidence, that they can diversify, that they can be part of this new market in terms of bison meat and bison produce and making sure that they've got the best standards for animal well health care that they possibly can.